Alright, so it's cockpit time. This is going to be a short tutorial just to get our environment set up. Right mouse button at the origin point on the axis icon. This will position the geometry in the center of the screen, which we'll need when we put our imagine and shape uh, sphere in. This is the next thing. Go to the start menu, choose shape and imagine and shape. Better just right mouse button on that screen again, just in case it moved. And then on your workbench, you want to choose the sphere icon. This drops the sphere in the middle of the screen. So if our geometry wasn't there to begin with, then it, the sphere would be nowhere near where we need it. Choose the affinity icon on our tool palettes. Choose the additions icon and change the values in the affinity dialog box to 100, 53, and 35. And then say OK. You can press the escape button a couple of times and this is what we end up with. Now we're going to position this a little bit further ahead. So we want to right mouse button on top of the imagine and shape sphere or sorry, double click the Imagine and Shape Sphere, right mouse button on it, and all elements selection. So we end up moving all of it. Choose the translation icon off the tool palettes. And then the axis icon, we can pull any one of these axes. What we want to do is pull and drag on the X. Now I've got everything selected. If we didn't, we'd only be pulling on one face. Pull it until it is somewhat even between. You can see the uh, engine chamber peeking through it. And we've got that basically positioned where we want. That's the end of this tutorial.